good morning students uh, today i am going to discuss you uh, rather uh, show you one important part of our practical anatomy uh, that is a radiology part in radiology you must have some basic knowledge before interpreting any x ray that basic knowledge is which region you are going to describe whether it is the region of thorax or chest or region of abdomen or limbs or maybe head neck region you must mention the region and secondly you must mention the view of the x-ray taken whether it is posterior anterior view or pa view or anterior posterior view or ap view or lateral view or oblique view so many views are there and thirdly whether the x-ray is a plain x-ray or contrast x-ray contrast x-ray means when we use some contrast media to enhance the structures that media may be used intravenously or orally or intrathecally or intra arterial or so many routes are there but that is the contrast media so these three basic things we must remember in mind before describing any x-ray first one again i am telling you repeating you first one is the whether plain x-ray or contrast x-ray number two the region of the x-ray whether chest or abdomen or limbs like that and thirdly the view whether it is anterior posterior posterior anterior or lateral or oblique or what may be the type of the view i must mention these three things and one another thing also you should keep in mind in a x-ray you will get mainly two types of areas one is radio lucent area and what is radio opaque area radio lucent area means the area on x-ray which will be seen as black or dark areas that means through these particular areas the x-ray beam are passing without any obstruction that means these structures are less dense the radio opaque areas the areas through which the x-ray beam are not passing are not allowing the beam to pass through so the reflection of the beam is there and that areas looks white like bones or any fluid inside a uh, cavity or a, a structure that will look white so before going into discussion uh, you must know this knowledge then i am going to show you one important x-ray of our body that is the chest x-ray which is very commonly given in the examination so you must uh, see the x-ray very minutely and listen to me very carefully so let's see the x-ray now see this is the chest x-ray how to describe it is a plain x-ray of chest posterior anterior view then you will be asked what are the things you can see in this x-ray the answer will be there are some radio opaque areas and there are some radio lucent areas radio opaque areas are the bones like clavicle scapula and on this side part of the humerus the shoulder joint acromioclavicular joint and number of ribs are there on both sides and below here is the another radio opaque area this is the upper part of the liver or upper surface of the liver and above it is the dome of the diaphragm the right dome of diaphragm on this side left dome of the diaphragm and here also this radio opaque area is the heart shadow or cardiac shadow and in the midline here you can see some vertebra spine are visible this is a cervical region so these are cervical vertebra and in the thorax you will get the thoracic vertebra and in the midline sternum but the sternum and some thoracic vertebra they are not visible properly or at all not visible because of the superimposition of the cardiac shadow then you may be asked how to count the ribs then you have to count the ribs from above downwards that means you have to identify the first rib then second third fourth like this not below upwards so how to identify the first rib this is the clavicle on this side this is clavicle 
and behind the medial end of the clavicle this is the first strip the impression of first strip here so if you identify the first strip then it will be second strip in between these two is the first intercostal space then third strip fourth strip fifth strip sixth strip like this in this way you will count the ribs and in the midline if you are asked what is this black areas in the midline in the midline there is trachea within trachea there is air so air is seen in x ray as blackish area because air is radio lucent area which looks black and another large radio lucent area on both sides there are the area for the lungs lungs contain air so the air it looks black or dark in an x ray so this is the area for the lung on both sides and here in this area there are some radio opaque areas are visible towards the medial side or towards the heart on both sides that shadow is the hilar shadow and that shadow is due to the lymphatics blood vessels maybe hilar lymph nodes and maybe the branches of the bronchial tree in this radio peg areas the cardiac shadow is mainly asked what are the questions you may be asked you show the right border of the heart right border means this is the right border of the heart this is right border which is formed by the right atrium then you may be asked show the inferior border this is inferior border but you cannot show the inferior border because this border is obscured by this shadow and inferior border is formed by the right ventricle but the left border which is formed by the left ventricle it is clearly visible and above here is a elevation this one on the left side of the midline that is called aortic knob or aortic knuckle this bending is due to the aortic arch when the aortic arch arches upwards then goes behind and laterally forms an arch this arch is visible in x ray as a knuckle or knob that is called aortic knuckle and next thing may be asked what is this angle called this is the angle formed between this margin of the cardiac shadow and this is the upper margin of the diaphragm so diaphragm and heart so cardiophrenic angle this angle cardiophrenic angle and on this side also this is cardiophrenic angle this angle may be disturbed or may be acute when the heart is enlarged or pericardial effusion is there so this angle may be narrowed but in some cases this cardiophrenic angle on right side particularly it is not prominent like that of the left side because of cardiohepatic angle because it is the cardiac shadow is the liver shadow so cardiohepatic because of this cardiohepatic shadow or angle the cardiophrenic angle on right side it is not properly visible or not well marked like that of the cardiophrenic angle of the left side another angle is there also this is the ribs and this is the diaphragm so costophrenic angle this one costophrenic angle of this side and costophrenic angle of this side this angle may be obliterated due to accumulation of fluid in case of pleural effusion this angle may be obliterated so this is the importance of the costophrenic angle and another thing may be asked can you see this black areas it is not prominent in this x ray but in some x ray you will see this particular area below the diaphragm will looks black or dark this dark area or black area means air is there and this air is the fundic air the air is collected within the fundus of the stomach so this is the fundic air and if you answer well you may be asked 
what do you mean by cardiothoracic ratio cardio means this is the heart shadow thoracic means it is the transverse diameter of the thorax if you measure the maximum transverse diameter of the heart shadow and the maximum transverse diameter of the thoracic cavity of course from the inner side not from outer side from the inner side inner to inner so maximum transverse diameter of the thoracic cavity and you measure these two and make a ratio cardio cardiac and thoracic cardio thoracic ratio that means the ratio is between the maximum transverse diameter of the cardiac shadow and maximum transverse diameter of the thoracic cavity is called cardi thoracic ratio and it is usually 1 is to 2 that means it is about 50 percent of the transverse diameter of the thoracic cavity this is important because when the heart is enlarged or cardiomegaly occurs in different pathological condition this ratio is disturbed this is 1 is to 2 ratio will be disturbed it will be much more more than 50 percent in that case this ratio it is very much important hmm. so all these are important markings or landmarks of the chest x-ray you must remember the cardiac shadow its borders then tracheal shadow then cardiophrenic angle costophrenic angle aortic knuckle and to count the ribs upper border or upper margin of the diaphragm of right side and left side and also the fundic gas shadow uh, below the left dome of the diaphragm and lastly the cardiothoracic ratio and its importance so thank you very much for, for today